Many job seekers and employers in Fukushima Prefecture find themselves in a strange predicament. As the disruption from the nuclear disaster continues, some people want to work but can't find jobs. On the other hand, some business people want workers but can't find employees. In the road ahead tonight, we report on businesses who are finding ways to solve the problem. Before the disaster struck, this clothing manufacturer in Minami Soma City employed about 70 workers. But afterwards, more than 20 employees quit and left the prefecture. The company looked for replacements, but after six months, it had found only one. Part of the problem is that a section of the city is still an evacuation zone. So many of its residents, potential employees, live too far away for work. Plant owner Noriyasu Igarashi says the labor shortage is hurting the company. He says that the factory can only make a limited number of garments each day, so he hasn't been able to fill his orders. With so few employees, our situation is getting critical. To solve the problem, Igarashi decided to open a factory in an area where there are lots of potential employees. He chose Iwaki, a city in the same prefecture. Many evacuees lived there and were looking for work. Last December, he put out job vacancy notices. And in just 10 days, over 30 people applied. Igarashi was able to hire 25. Some had lost their homes and workplaces to the tsunami. They were keen on returning to work. It's fantastic that a new company has come here. I chose Iwaki because a lot of evacuees are here. Plus, it's in Fukushima Prefecture, and I'm hoping this move helps the prefecture recover. As a business owner, I want to do as much as I can to make that happen. Another business is also trying to create jobs to help the disaster victims. A chain of shopping centers have been located in a town not far from the damaged nuclear power plant. After the disaster, it had to close all nine of its stores and lay off its 200 workers. Next month, one store will reopen and employ about 30 workers. As for the other laid-off employees, they collect unemployment benefits while waiting for the rest of the stores to reopen. It's heartbreaking to think that 80% of our former employees are waiting for the stores to reopen. The company decided to create a special team of workers called the Temporary Housing Corps. They visit people in temporary housing communities, take orders, and deliver goods. During a trial run, they got a favorable response. So the company decided to add 50 people to the core. <laughs> On this day, the company asked a former employee to join the team. As he had been reluctant to move out of this line of work, he happily accepted the offer. It would be hard for me to change jobs at my age. I'm pleased that I will be able to work in the same field as before. I'd like to be able to create some sort of job for the 100 or so former employees who still live in our prefecture. As for the people who evacuated to other prefectures, I will wait until they come back and join us. I hope the number of people who support what we're doing and want to work here will grow rapidly. The nuclear disaster dealt a serious blow to business people in Fukushima Prefecture. But they've shown ingenuity and perseverance in creating jobs for the disaster victims. By doing so, they hope their communities rebound.